Hello everyone, I am Amarachi Ubani. An 18-year-old Saudi woman locked herself up in an airport hotel room in Bangkok, Thailand. She made a video and sent out tweets about being afraid she would be killed if sent back to her family in Kuwait. Here's a recap of her amazing story. The story begins with this short video of a Saudi woman who says she has locked herself in a hotel room in Bangkok, Thailand, because she did not want to return to Kuwait. Rahaf al Kuno was the woman, later found out to be 18 years of age. She had barricaded herself inside an airport hotel in Bangkok, saying she was fleeing abuse from her family and fears they would kill her if she returned home. Rahaf had arrived in Bangkok since Saturday from Kuwait. She had planned to travel on from Thailand to Australia to seek asylum. She says she was detained after leaving a plane in Bangkok and told she would be sent back to Kuwait. In a video posted online, she filmed herself inside an undisclosed hotel room. I'm still in the room, she says. I have no choice. No one can help me now. Thai authorities were already planning her exposure, saying she did not have the necessary papers to remain in Thailand. They denied they were acting at the request of the Saudi government. By Monday, officials halted their plans to expel her following calls from human rights groups. A representative of the UN High Commissioner for Refugees met Kuno at the airport and also discussed the case with Thai immigration officials after the meeting. Thailand's immigration chief said she would not be expelled. He said the UNHCR would work on processing her request for refugee status. If she prefers to travel to Australia, we will coordinate with the Australian embassy for her. But if she wants to remain in Thailand, we will have to talk to the UNHCR for the UNHCR to accept her as an asylum seeker in order to consider her refugee status. Australia's Home Affairs Minister Peter Dutton said there would be no special treatment afforded to Kuno, but that Australia would work with the United Nations. Nobody wants to see a young girl in distress and she's obviously now found uh, a safe haven in Thailand and the United Nations will assess the veracity of the claims and what would happen next. Australia's Foreign Minister, Maurice Payne, later said there was no time frame for the assessment of Kuna's case. There is no possibility that uh, Ms Alkanen will be going back with, uh, with me, uh, as you put it, today. Uh, that is because there are steps which are required in the process which Australia uh, and uh, any other country considering uh, such a matter would have to go through. Uh, we will go through those according to our own system and our own processes. And while discussions continued, Kuna's father arrived in Bangkok and wished to meet his daughter. He had arrived with her brother. Kunu refused to see her father or her brother. According to the Thai immigration chief, Kunu's father is against his daughter's wish to seek asylum in a third country. The plight of Rahaf Mohammed Al Kunu recalls the cases of other Saudi women who fled mistreatment only to be forcibly returned to the kingdom and never heard from again. Amid global outrage at Saudi Arabia over last year's murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi, Kunu's messages from the Bangkok airport sparked an online campaign. In Saudi Arabia, some freedoms have been granted under Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who ended a ban on women's driving, eased restrictions on gender mixing, and championed first such as allowing women to serve in the armed forces. Yet, those changes have been accompanied by a crackdown on dissent, including the arrest and alleged torture of some of the activists who campaigned for decades to improve women's rights, as well as Muslim preachers who oppose them. Under the system, every Saudi woman is assigned a male relative, often a father or husband, but sometimes an uncle, brother or even a son whose approval is needed if she is to get married, obtain a passport and travel abroad. Kunu's case prompted a reaction on social media. Rahaf Muhammad Al-Kanun, mark my words, 
is going to start a revolution in Saudi Arabia. Go on social media now and watch the accounts of so many young Saudis saying, Rahaf, you have shown us that we can do this. Rahaf, you, can, you have shown us that we deserve to be free. Kuno was also attacked on social media for shaming her family and renouncing Islam, highlighting the delicate balance Prince Mohammed must strike in reforming Saudi society without destabilizing it. By Friday, the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, confirmed Canada granted asylum to Kuno. Working with our partners, allies, and uh, with the United Nations. And when the United Nations made a request of us that we uh, grant Ms. Al Kunun uh, asylum, uh, we, uh, we, uh, uh, we accepted. On Saturday, Kunu posted pictures of what happened to be herself on board the plane while en route to Seoul before departing for Canada.